So once again, we must ask the question, is the brand new Infinity Studios Anne Hathaway life-size Catwoman bust from Dark Knight Rises a hit or miss? That's up next. Back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles, your one stop for all things high end statue collecting reviews, unboxing statue chats, live content like Rogues Gallery Live, and so much more. My name's Chris, I'm the Batman statue collector, and like I said at the very beginning today, we're going to be doing another hit or miss video. This one from our friends over at Infinity Studios. Now, you guys, if you follow the channel, you guys know that I have an Infinity, Infinity Studios piece and I'm getting two more into the Batcave, that being the Joker and of course the Harley Quinn. I'm very, very excited about those busts, even though I am not considered a bus collector. I have to have those pieces in the cave. I just cannot wait to see them. And now we have an Anne Hathaway Catwoman. Now, as you guys again know that I've ordered the uh, Queen Studios Bat Pod, the Catwoman on Bat Pod, which I'm very excited about. Do I need this one as well? I really like Anne Hathaway's Catwoman. Of course, I would prefer a Michelle Pfeiffer, but there's no question that this thing is going to be impressive. But with that, of course, is going to probably come a very high price point. Well, of course, we have all of the information now. We have all of the photos from Infinity Studios. And so, of course, we need to look at it. We need to evaluate whether it really is a hit or miss. All right, guys, so here we go. Let's go ahead and dive into this incredible piece from Infinity Studios. And again, it does go up for pre-order. As of you're watching this, it's probably already up. And uh, we have a little bit of information here, including ES. Price point has been varied, so we'll talk about that as well. But let's just talk about the art itself. Um, first of all, obviously, this is a life-size bust of Anne Hathaway uh, from The Dark Knight Rises, and it is very incredible. Uh, it's based off some promo art uh, that did, did include a gun. Of course, Warner Brothers does not allow that, so obviously they tweaked it so it's more like she is messing with her mask or flipping her mask down. Um, let's talk about likeness here. The likeness here is very, very, very good. I think this is one of the best ones that Infinity Studios has done to date. I think it absolutely looks like Anne Hathaway, especially with the mask on. Um, it looks close with the mask off, and we'll look at those photos here in just a second, but I think that that absolutely is Anne Hathaway. There's no question. The eyes look absolutely beautiful. Of course, it's going to have the hand-punched hair, uh, and it's just very very impressive piece overall now the uh, the es um internationally is 399 and asia is 199 so i don't know if that means that the total is 399 but asia has 199 international has 399 so that is the es price points that i've seen so far have been around the four thousand dollar mark i've seen some a little less some a little bit more so i don't know exactly what the official is uh, it will be up uh, at sideshow i am sure because sideshow has carried all of these items and of course i will have that down in the link below as soon as it becomes available but anyway this is a really phenomenal piece like i said it is a big hit for me um and it is it really it's the likeness it's the likeness here that really draws me to it if the likeness was off a bit i would easily pass and you guys know that i have the uh the bat pod with Catwoman coming, uh, I'm debating, do I get this one? Do I get the Bat Pod? That is a really, really tough choice. Of course, I also have the uh, the Joker, the Heath Ledger Joker coming. And so this would pair up very nicely with that. But again, I just don't know exactly which one. So obviously you can see that the, the glasses do flip down, which is nice. Um, again, that's not some the way I would display it, but also you can display it with the unmasked portrait. Um, and some people might choose to do that because they're just a big Anne Hathaway fan. But I did want to kind of dive into that a little bit more. I wanted to show you some close-ups of that and see if this is her. I think that looks like her. Uh, there are certain angles I feel like it could be maybe a little bit better. But overall, I think that looks pretty darn close to Anne Hathaway. Um, and again, I would never display it this way. I would display it with the mask because that's the way she wore it in the movie. Um, but, you know, that's her. Uh, it's not 100% to me. It's like 98% maybe there. Um, like that shot right there looks like her to me. Uh, so again, it just depends on the angle. But I think it looks very, very good. I feel like maybe the side profile, her nose looks maybe a little big or something. I'm not exactly sure from that shot. But with the mask on, I mean, boom, that is her. It looks very, very good. Now, I know this might not be the most popular Catwoman out there, um, but obviously she's going to have a lot of fans. Obviously, um, you know, I just think this is going to be a popular bust um, because, 
you know, people love to collect these things. They're exciting. They're expensive, though. Um, the the base, I, I'm still not 100% sure. It looks like the base is not light up. It looks like it's just painted that way uh, to reflect the city be- uh, above it. But uh, I haven't had confirmation from Queens or from uh, Infinity Studios yet um, on this piece. So hopefully we'll be able to figure out whether it is light up or not. But look at the texturing here. Look at the gloves, how it looks kind of satin-like, uh, just like the movie. Very impressive stuff. Again, to me, that doesn't look like it's lit up. It looks like it's painted, kind of that, that really bright blue, which gives it really a nice color um, to separate all the black that's going on in this um, in this bust. Obviously, you have the city line down below, which I think is really cool. You know, it's the, the bridge from the movie, the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, looks really, really cool. And again, it's just, it's just a fun base. It's simple. Um, but elegant. I like it. I really like that it's, uh, you know, reflecting Gotham City. I think it's a really cool touch. Um, again, the the hands, supposed to have a gun in her hand. Warner Brothers isn't going to allow it. So again, that does not bother me at all. I love the pulling along the, um, the zipper line. I don't know if that unzips or if that's fully sculpted. I'm assuming that the suit is fully sculpted. I don't think it's any sort of fabric at all. Um, but I, I think the only silicone areas basically will be the head. But from top to bottom, I do think that this is a very, very impressive looking bust. I think Infinity Studios nailed it. Again, look at that portrait. Absolutely gorgeous of Anne Hathaway. I think anybody that collects this is going to be one lucky person because this is a big, big hit from Infinity Studios. All right, collectors, I'm going to turn it over to you. What do you guys think of this incredible piece from Infinity Studios? It is a very impressive piece, but I know that busts aren't for everybody. Now, will I be adding it to the cave? Again, I just don't know. I already have another piece coming in. Do I need these multiple pieces? I'm really trying to be strict with myself in terms of the movie pieces. You guys know that that used to be my rule. Of course, back then, movie pieces weren't that great. The likenesses weren't that fantastic. But now these companies continue to get better every single year and bring us, you know, this incredible quality and this incredible likeness to the actor. And it's really difficult to turn that down. So, again, it's a very fine balance for me and my cave. But regardless of all of that, I don't know if I'm going to be adding it to my cave, but there's no question that this is a high, high end piece of art. I think it's going to be very well received, although this Catwoman, I don't know how liked she is compared to maybe like a Michelle Pfeiffer. I mean, come on, Infinity Studios, if you're watching this, please make, an, please make a Michelle Pfeiffer. And I'm talking about like the one at the end where she, her hair's all crazy. Oh my gosh, I would buy that instantly day one. And I know a lot of other collectors would as well. But anyway, I do want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the prices on these things like are, are they worth it to you uh, do you like the bust do you like the whole torso versus just the shoulders that some companies do i am curious as to kind of what you guys think as these prices continue to climb are you willing to spend three four five thousand dollars on these pieces uh, I'm, I'm assuming there's a very limited handful of people that are willing to do that, um, including myself, because again, you guys know I'm getting that, uh, that Harley and that Joker, and those are very, very expensive, but they are just, you know, centerpieces of a collection without a shadow of a doubt. Um, and so I'm very excited to support Infinity Studios. I think they're doing absolutely fantastic work. But again, I do want to know what you think about this piece. Again, I think it's a major hit. I think the likeness is very good. I love the aesthetics of the piece. And I, again, I think it's going to be very popular. I think any of the female characters, especially, it's, it's sexy. It's beautifully done. And I think this will be really popular. Again, is it going to end up in the cave? time will tell. Uh, Again, leave your comments down below. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so very much. Also, I will put a link down below if you haven't voted for the Batsy Awards. I've had so many people vote. Thank you so very much. But I want more of you to vote for your favorite statues of 2021 in all sorts of genres. It's not just Batman related. So please vote. Please share so other people can vote as well. And of course, that does enter you into those contests. So thank you guys for that. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, click that notification bell, all of those good things. And if you want to take it one step further, you can hit the join button down below for early access to our videos, bat boxes and other things. And you can also support us on Patreon. So thank you guys so very much. Really love you. Uh, Just again, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. And again, please leave your thoughts down below on this incredible piece from Infinity Studios. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time right here in the Batcave. Bye, everybody.
Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.